What if I told you that your fingers, those little digits on your hands, can do more than pick up objects or typing? They can help sharpen your mind, improve memory, sharpen focus, and even slow cognitive decline. Today we are looking into coordinated finger activities. What they are, how they work in the brain, what each finger means, both symbolically and functionally, and easy exercises you can do daily to engage your sensory cortex, build neural connections, and improve cognitive function. Section 1. Why finger coordination matters for brain health. The hands and fingers are densely packed with sensory receptors, including mechanoreceptors and proprioceptors. When you move or stimulate your fingers in coordinated ways, you activate those receptors. That sends rich sensory input to the somatosensory cortex, which maps the body's sensory signals. Also, moving the fingers engages the motor cortex for planning and execution, and often cerebral regions involved in attention, working memory, and planning. These activities help with neuroplasticity, strengthening synaptic connections, and creating new neural pathways, particularly helpful for maintaining or restoring cognitive function. A study showing finger exercises improved cognitive function in older adults, increased cerebral blood flow during finger activity that supports intelligence and sharpening of mind. Section 2. What each finger represents. You can frame fingers both symbolically and functionally to represent which parts of the brain do what roles. The thumb, digit 1, represents and is symbolic of willpower, self-assertion, strength of character, and independence. The index finger, digit 2, represents leadership, ambition, direction, and confidence. Often tied to being seen, pointing the way, and guiding. The middle finger, digit 3, is symbolic of balance, responsibility, order, and purpose. Because it's the central finger, it has meaning about equilibrium, self-control, maturity, and introspection. The ring finger, digit 4, represents relationships, love, commitment, and creativity. It is often associated with romantic connection, family bonds, emotional connections, partnership, and artistic or expressive qualities. The pinky finger, or little finger, is symbolic of intuition, communication, persuasion, subtle influence, and style. Sometimes linked to finishing things, detail, and finesse also associated with expressions of personality that are more refined or less overt. Because each finger has its own sensory feedback and motor control area in the cortex, doing exercises that stimulate each finger using touch, movement, and resistance helps maintain and refine those maps. That's beneficial for precision, dexterity, and sensory discrimination. The more a finger is used in precise, differentiated ways, the thumb and index in oppositional tasks, the more refined the cortical representation becomes. This is part of neuroplasticity and the brain's ability to change and adapt. Less independent fingers, ring finger and little finger, often have more overlap in cortical maps. Exercising them can help improve independence and coordination. Section 3. Coordinated finger exercises, for each finger and for all fingers together. Here are exercises to help achieve increased dexterity. First, individual finger exercises. These focus on isolating each finger, which is useful for sensory discrimination. Number 1. Thumb touches. Touch the tip of your thumb to the tip of your index finger, then middle finger, then ring finger, then little finger. Reverse. Do these exercises slowly, focusing on each touch, feeling the pressure and contact. Number 2. Index finger lifts. Place all fingers on a flat surface, table or desk. Lift only the index finger hold and lower then repeat number three finger circles with the hand flat or slightly raised move your fingers including the middle finger in small circles clockwise and counterclockwise number four finger stretch and resistance use a rubber band around all fingers try to stretch the fingers outwards against resistance now let's look at coordinated multi-finger and hand exercises number one finger extend with your fingers interlocked, stretch then release and stretch again 7 to 10 times. These engage multiple fingers together, patterns and alternation. Number 2. Finger tapping patterns. Tap fingers in sequence. Pinky finger, then ring finger, then middle finger, then the index finger. While increasing speed, try different orders like the index finger, then the ring finger, then the middle finger, followed by the pinky finger, and finally the thumb. Number 3. Finger crossovers and weaving. 
with your fingers interlaced. Weave them back and forth, stretching your fingers as you move them in a circular pattern. Repeat for one to two minutes. Number four, finger touching. With your palm open, take your thumb and touch between the joints of each finger, starting from your index finger and moving toward your pinky finger. Number five, piano or keyboard imitation. Pretend to play piano, pressing each finger down. You can use an actual keyboard or just air. Try scales and simple melodies. Number six, mirror and imagery assisted movement. Mimic hand movements while watching in the mirror. Research shows mirror imagery helps with fine motor improvements. Section four, how to practice. Warm up, gently by stretching your fingers. Start slow, focus on quality, precise movements and sensory feedback. Use both hands, even the non-dominant one. Encouraging bilateral movements helps interhemispheric connections. Gradually increase speed and complexity. Keep sessions short but regular, with exercises five to 10 minutes daily. For older adults or those with cognitive impairment, adapt difficulty, ensure safety, and maybe perform with supervision or therapist guidance. Section five, the neuroscience behind finger exercises. Sensory cortex and motor cortex mapping. Each finger has specific areas in the somatosensory cortex. Frequent stimulation keeps those maps active and may prevent degradation. Cerebral blood flow increases during finger activity, which helps nutrient and oxygen delivery to brain tissue. Neuroplasticity. Repeated use leads to strengthening of synapses, possibly increased myelination and improved coordination. Also, improvements in attention, working memory, and processing speed have been observed in studies with finger exercise regimens in older adults. Section 6. Real Life Benefits. Enhancing fine motor skills improves writing, buttoning, and using small objects. Helping recovery after stroke or brain injury. Some studies show improvement in non-dominant hand coordination. Cognitive benefits include improved memory, focus, and understanding of complex tasks. Some people find finger exercises mindful or meditative, reducing stress and improving mood. Encourage consistency. Over weeks, note the changes where tasks feel easier, movements more precise, and attention better sustained. Coordinated finger activities are more than just hand and finger workouts, they're brain workouts. By engaging sensory receptors, stimulating the sensory and motor cortex, and strengthening neural connections, support cognition, memory, focus, and motor skills. Give these exercises a try for a few weeks and you might just feel sharper, more coordinated, and more in control. Don't forget, start slow, stay consistent, and enjoy the process. If you gained insight from this video from Health Equals Wellness, hit subscribe and share with someone who might benefit and leave a comment telling me which finger exercise is your favorite. Thanks for watching.